Hi, I'm Peggy at Portraits by Peggy, and today I have an exciting special guest with us that's going to talk to us about fashion. Hi, I'm Monica Henderson with Mink Couture by Monica Henderson, your style custom made. So Monica, tell us a little bit about what you do and why fashion is so important. So um, I am a couturier, I make custom clothing, um, we do alterations, custom made things, um, customizations, so we take things that exist already and kind of repurpose them into a different, um, to, a di to basically fit the lifestyle that you're trying to lead in them. Um, I have a lot of uh, religious women who buy things off the rack, but they don't quite fit uh, what their needs are as far as the religious uh, requirements. And so I sometimes will take those items and change them. Um, but one of the reasons why I got in, why I stayed in fashion, because I'm not your typical fashion girl. I don't te te go shopping every weekend. I don't die for every runway show. What I, um, one of the reasons why I stayed in fashion um, as long as I have is because I really like to help people look and feel the way that they want to look and feel. So for me as a portrait photographer, basically my job is to capture your personality and make you look your best. Mm -hmm. But that's pretty much what you do as well is yes. take people's clothing and their personality and teach them how to look their best in what they wear. Exactly. Now I'm going to tell you a secret, all right? So Monica walks in today and she's like, mm, can I fix that? And she like <laughs> tucked and fixed it and made me look, because that's what she does. She wanted me to, to look my best on camera. And so, you know, that's why I wanted to bring her on today so that she kind of talk about how important color, fashion, making sure things are fit. Mm -hmm. A lot of things is just the confidence. People um, always call and say, what should I wear? So, well, um, I always say that you, how you look and what you, you come across to other people is really just a mirror of how you feel on the inside. So what you want to wear is something that makes you feel really good on the inside. Like I am, my favorite color to wear is white um, because I feel like it makes me look vibrant and and happy and um, I'm confident that my skin will look good in, <laughs> in white and so I typically will wear white although I heard I, I know we, we <laughs> laughed about this because when when people ask me the one thing I say is don't wear white and don't wear black um, so we're Breaking exactly I know. <laughs> but and, and the reason that I say that for portraits is black tends to um, pull the color out and white as well. A lot of people's skin tones, it pulls mm. the color out and it messes with the white balance in the camera and it's just, mm. it's just kind of tricky. Yeah. So, you know, those, but the fun thing about photography is um, there's a set of rules mm -hmm. and then there's the artistic part where you break the rules. Right. <laughs> so, so, you know, world do I have, yeah, we're rule breakers <laughs> today. I do wear a lot of black because mm -hmm. um, as a photographer, when I'm, you know, in events in different places, I don't want to stand out. Mm -hmm. And so I do kind of, you know, try to stay in the background. But when I am going out, I wear a lot of blue. I wear a lot of bright colors yeah, because blue looks fantastic with your eyes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I, that was one of the first things I also said. I was like, you should really wear color. You have great skin tone and you have like this really good coloring to you and like bright colors would be great on you. Um, she's like, yeah, that's what I do when I'm not a photographer. I was like, well, see, it makes a lot of sense. So. Right. Um, but really, the important thing as far as fashion is concerned with um, confidence building is really just making sure that everything reflects how you want to feel. And so the proper fit of things. So one of the other things, you know, I'm like pulling and tugging and we're like adjusting things um, just to make sure that if you feel like you're pulled in, you feel like you're like you're gonna have good posture, then you probably will have good posture. Right, and that's a lot of things that people don't understand because they'll say, well, I wear black because it makes me look thinner. Well, actually, good posture makes you look thinner. Good posture. Positive, 
when you're positive and you're up and you're like ready to go, um, those actually make you look thinner than, you know, black if you're like all withdrawn mm -hmm. and, and hiding, yeah, like, you know, yeah. Or this. Yeah, the, that doesn't, that's not, that's not, yeah, yeah that's not beautiful. Confidence right. is beautiful. Right, open posture. It, it says, I'm available to have this conversation exactly. with you. Please engage with me. But that's another reason why, you know, a really good, well-fit article of clothing is so important because if you're tugging and adjusting the whole time, it gives off this whole thing of, like, you're not comfortable in your skin. So you want to make sure that all your clothes are fit properly and they fit your body type well and that you're not putting on something that doesn't feel organically good for how you... Um, how you feel like if you don't feel good in it you're not going to look good in it and that's simple now another thing you do is you help business people dress for success right I do. you have you know a program where hey i i want a promotion hey i want to get this yeah. job i want to i want to come across as you know the you know the successful and so you actually you actually teach people how to dress and how that can change how you feel and how you present yourself yeah so it's um really style is this thing or fashion for instance is one of these things that kind of gets a little away from people they're like oh i'm not into fashion i just wear clothes but there's a really simple formula um i teach um there are seven items that every business person should own that you can go from any event whether it be a very casual mixer to like a full business to even like a cocktail seven items and they're the same seven items for men and women um, but really what it is is it just gives you a professional base so no matter what you're trying to do now here in LA we have a lot of creatives and so there's a lot of um, a lot of people who have kind of gotten away from being able to be professional, like having wardrobes mm -hmm. with prof professional dressing in it. But if you need to go into a boardroom and pitch your business, right, and you're going to ask them for however many thousands of dollars, you should look like you know what you're doing in business, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna sidetrack off this because this is my pet peeve. <laughs> um, I've been a professional portrait photographer since 1989, so a year or two, right? <laughs> and ahead. and um, the the photographer that I interned with just drilled it into my head. When you're you know present yourself professional, you mm -hmm. are a professional. Don't show up in shorts and flip flops and t-shirts. Exactly. And this is absolute my my pet peeve because I feel like a lot of a lot of creative people I like how you tag that mm -hmm. you know whether it's actors whether it's um, photographers or the artists of whatever yeah. the creative people tend to think they can look sloppy yeah and that's that's not a thing no. it's not a thing it's not a thing <laughs> it's really not um, you know now I you know. I'm not, I don't dress super um, fancy. Mm -hmm. um, I usually wear slacks or, you mm -hmm. know, casual, you know, I guess maybe casual business or something mm -hmm. entire most of the time um, when I'm working because when I'm doing events, I may be climbing on the table. <laughs> I, you never know where I can show right. up to get that shot, right. to get the angle I need. But um, I always look put together and professional. Mm -hmm. I did an event um, last week and there was three photographers covering this event and the one covering the red carpet amazing photographer but he was in a t-shirt and shorts oh. and this is red carpet so we've got people in tuxedos we got people in formals and i was like this is what gives the photographers a bad name like put on a pair of pants right. <laughs> i mean and you're on the red carpet for crying out loud right? like black slacks and a black tank would be a, a black tea would be fine would be fine but yeah so that's that is and i'm sorry yeah. i know that was a rabbit hole there no. but that is <laughs> That's my pet peeve. Right. It's like, come on. But that's the perfect Present example. Yourself. So like even even in that situation, the recommendation that we would have given him would have been along the lines of what I had already said about those seven basics. There are seven basic items um, that every professional person should own in very neutral colors so that you can just kind of like blindly grab things out of the closet, throw them on. It shouldn't take you more than seven minutes to get dressed in the morning, like to actually put on your clothing. Yeah. Because you should have the right items for that um, the thing. I always tell people that um, I most people who know me, like in my adult life, don't realize that I'm an, I was an extreme introvert. And one of the reasons um, 
why I'm able to kind of do the things that I do that don't seem introverted at all is because I have a costume for it, right? So when I'm supposed to be printing, uh, presenting myself as a fashion person, then I always wear something that makes me feel more fashionable, so then I am presenting myself. So it really is kind of one of those things. It is your uniform for your life, it is. right? And if you're not having those items that are pushing you or putting you in a position in a posturing for that particular thing. No one wants a ski instructor to show up in a bikini. Like that would be ludicrous, right? Right. Or like your um, your teacher, you know, in the, in the school to show up wearing like snowboarding gear. Like it, it's it's odd. Right. And so it really is important for you to understand like what the activities of your life are going to be and then to have the proper wardrobe in order for that to happen. I mean, you do quite a bit of photography so I'm sure if someone came in and they wanted photography for their business and you asked them what they did you would want their wardrobe to kind of reflect what they did right exactly I do a lot of that I go into businesses mm -hmm. and um, I do you know the whole the whole office or whatever it may be so that they can have a consistent look on their website on their social media and you know a lot of people want to look approachable they want to look professional and so we, we usually have a conversation about that yeah and you know what you know the way you dress mm -hmm. is going to portray you know um, an attorney on their website is going to be very businesslike no Hawaiian shirt right <laughs> but maybe on their vlog or on their um, their their podcast or on their their Facebook um, even their LinkedIn, they might want to tone it down a bit yeah. and look approachable. So I'm still professional, but you can you can call me. Yeah. Um, you know, I do a lot of actors uh, headshots, mm -hmm. and that's so important. What they wear, it's. I mean, this is literally um, their headshot is what is going to decide if they get to show themselves off. Exactly. Like that's what's going to get them in the door. Exactly. And so color, I mean, you have to, you know, there's a lot of thinking. So mm -hmm. I'm so excited. <laughs> so everybody, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of her information below and I want you to check out her website, um, email her, call her, um, let her help you um, find out how to dress for success. Yeah. I mean, I do a, a comprehensive hour in your closet. And we go through, we figure out what it is you want your life to look like, and we'll figure out how to make that happen within your wardrobe. So it's a it's it's a style coaching session. Wow. Yeah, and it's um, it's really interesting because sometimes even a, a suggestion of like wearing your belt in a different place makes all the difference. So it really just is going to depend on your style. But not only do we go through your wardrobe, but then I also help you style things so you have a few like really quick items to go to three different types of occasions so you know how to pull that together and it's really about education I'm not the fashion person who's going to ship now you have to go out and shop I don't shop for other people you do the shopping <laughs> but I teach you how to actually <laughs> I teach you how to do it better so when you go out you're going to save so much more money on tailoring um, the hardest part about it, tailoring sometimes people will come to me with an item that's this big uh -huh. and um, say can you make it fit me and I'm like well if you would have bought it two sizes smaller this would be this, probably this would $50 fit, yeah. cheaper for you <laughs> <laughs> so, well yeah yeah so just educating people on um, how to shop properly for their bodies it, it, it's a world of difference so if you know if any of you are interested in, in me coming in and helping you with that I'd love to because whether it's a business person whether it's a creative whether it's an actor a uh, mom a, a mom yeah there's I mean I'm a mom too and you know you get into that rut oh because God. you're so busy and yeah. it's like oh my god and you just like throw a t-shirt on right and then you're like okay I feel like crap and right. you, you do feel like how you dress yeah so, you know, it is so important. So I'm so excited. Thanks so much for sharing no with me today. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> so I've got a lot for you guys to do today. Not only do I want you, if you haven't already, go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. Um, share this with everyone you know. But also check out her website, contact her, and let her spend an hour in your closet. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next week.